In section 7.4, we're adding and subtracting rational expressions with unlike denominators. The key to solving these types of problems is to get a common denominator. Look for the LCD, the least common denominator, and multiply either fraction by the missing factors of the LCD. To add x over 9 plus 8 over 7, you want to find the least common denominator, which looking at the denominators of 9 and 7, the least common denominator is 63. So you want to write the equivalent rational expressions for x over 9 and 8 over 7 so that we can get a common denominator. Now in order to make 9 equal 63, we've got to multiply the top and the bottom of that rational expression by the same value. We're going to multiply by 7. We're going to multiply the numerator by 7 and the denominator by 7. So x over 9 is the same thing as 7x over 63. And 8 over 7 can also be written as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 63. In order to make 7 63, you need to multiply by 9. So if we're multiplying the denominator by 9, we also need to multiply the numerator by 9. And 8 times 9 is 72. So now that we have these two equivalent rational expressions, x over 9 plus 8 over 7, which is the same as 7x over 63 plus 72 over 63. Since we have the like denominators, common denominators, then you can add those two together into one fraction that where the numerator is 7x plus 72 and the denominator is 63. So that is how we add those two rational expressions by getting a common denominator. In example B, we have x over 5 minus 3 over 11. To subtract these rational expressions, we need to get a common denominator. The least common denominator of 5 and 11 is 55. So we want to make both of these equivalent fractions with a denominator of 55. So in order to make x over 5 equal a, a fraction with a denominator of 55, we need to multiply by 11. So if you're multiplying the denominator by 11, you want to multiply the numerator by 11 as well to get 11x. And the in the um, minus 3 over 11, we want to make that a denominator of 55. So we're going to multiply by 5 in the denominator as well as the 5 in the numerator. To get the equivalent fraction of 15 over 55. So x over 5 minus 3 over 11 is the same as 11x over 55 minus 15 over 55. Since we have a common denominator, we can combine the numerators to get 11x minus 15 in the numerator over 55. Example D is 6 divided by z squared minus 4 divided by z. We want to find the least common denominator. In this case, it's z to the second power. When you have, whenever you have variables in the factors in the denominator, the least common denominator is going to have that variable factor raised to that largest exponent. So we want to write equivalent fractions, and the first one we can write keep as 6 over z squared, and then the minus 4 over z, we need to multiply the bottom by z and the top by z to get the equivalent fraction with the common denominator. So in the numerator, we have 4z, the denominator, we have z squared. Now that we have a common denominators, we can combine these so that the numerator is 6 minus 4z and the denominator is z squared. This can't be, uh, you can factor out a 2 in the numerator, although it's not necessary. We can write our final answer as 6 minus 4z in the numerator divided by z squared. In example E, we have 5 divided by r plus 9 divided by r minus 3. We find the LCD, in this case, each factor will be represented as part of our LCD. The first factor of r and the second factor of r minus 3. That's going to be your LCD and we want to write both of those fractions with a denominator of r times r minus 3. r times r minus 3. The first denominator of r we need to multiply by the missing factor r minus 3. We multiply both the numerator and the denominator by r minus 3 to get a numerator when we distribute that 5 
of 5r minus 15. In the second fraction, we need to multiply by r in both the numerator and the denominator so that we get in the numerator 9r and the denominator a factor of r and r minus 3. So we have common denominators. You can add this so that the numerator becomes 5r minus 15 plus 9r and in the denominator that common denominator of r times r minus 3. Let's simplify a little bit. We know that 5r plus 9r combining the like terms in the numerator we get 15r sorry 14r minus 15 all divided by r times r minus 3. To add the rational expression negative 8x plus 3 over x to negative 8x plus 2 over 5x, begin with finding the LCD. The LCD is 5x. So we want to write each of these fractions, fractions as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 5x. The first fraction is missing a 5, so we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 5. The second fraction already has that common denominator. By distributing the 5, we get negative 40x plus 15 in the numerator and negative 8x plus 2 in the other numerator. Now that we have a common denominator, we can add those together to get in the numerator negative 40x plus 15 minus 8x plus 2 and in the common denominator of 5x. By simplifying the numerator, we get negative 48x plus 17 all divided by 5x. So that is our final answer in simplified form. In example h we have 6x divided by x plus 6 plus 3 divided by x minus 6. So the LCD in this case is going to have each one of those factors as part of the LCD. So we have x plus 6 as a factor and x minus 6 as a factor. We're going to write these in equivalent fractions with that common denominator of x plus 6, x minus 6 for both fractions. Now the missing factor in the first fraction denominator is an x minus 6. So we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by x minus 6. We can distribute that to get 6x squared minus 36x. In the second fraction, the missing factor is, or part of the LCD is x plus 6. So we multiply the numerator and the denominator by x plus 6. So the equivalent rational expression is found by distributing that 3 to get 3x plus 18. Now we have two fractions with a common denominator. You can combine those to get 6x squared minus 36x plus 3x plus 18, all in the numerator, over x plus 6, x minus 6. The denominator, we can combine like terms to get 6x squared minus 33x plus 18, all over. You can keep it as x plus 6, x minus 6, or you can simplify it as x, as x squared minus 36. In example J, we have negative 5 over the quantity y minus 4 minus 7 over the quantity 4 minus y. Now y minus 4 and 4 minus y look a lot alike, so let's rearrange the 4 minus y so that we can determine the correct LCD. 4 minus y, you can write as negative y plus 4, and you can factor out a negative 1, that leading coefficient of negative 1, to get y minus 4. So when you are taking a look at these fractions, do you have negative 5 over y minus 4 minus 7 over 4 minus y? That denominator 4 minus y can be written as negative 1 times y minus 4. And this negative 1 you can combine so that our problem can be written as negative 5 over y minus 4 this minus a negative 1 from the denominator, we bring that up, we get a plus 7 over y minus 4. So we now have a common denominator of y minus 4 
and we could add the numerators together. Negative 5 plus 7 in the numerator and y minus 4 in the denominator. We can simplify this just one step further so that we have a 2 in the numerator and a y minus 4 in the denominator. In example K, we have m minus 5 in the numerator over m squared plus 9m plus 20 in the denominator added to 4m minus 1 in the numerator and m squared plus 7m plus 10 in the denominator. Before we find the LCD, we need to factor the, both of those denominators. So we can write the first rational expression as m minus 5 divided by the factors of that trinomial, which are m plus 4 and m plus 5 plus the second fraction of 4m minus 1 in the numerator and the factored form of the denominator is m plus 5 and m plus 2. Now that we have the denominators in factored form, we can determine the LCD is going to include each one of those factors. The LCD is going to have m plus 4, m plus 5, and m plus 2. so that our common denominator will have all three of those factors. We can write the first rational expression with the denominator m plus 4, m plus 5, and m plus 2. Notice the missing factor is m plus 2, so we want to multiply the numerator and the denominator by m plus 2. The second fraction we already have the m plus 5 and m plus 2, so the only missing factor of the LCD is m plus 4. So we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by m plus 4. Now if we use the FOIL process in multiplying the numerators, the factors of the, each numerator, we get m plus 2 times m minus 5 first, outer, inner, last, m squared minus 5m plus 2m minus 10. And in the second fraction, the numerator, when we multiply those factors together, we're going to get 4m squared plus 16m minus m minus 4. That's again doing the first, outer, inner, last of the two factors in the numerator. Now that we have a common denominator, we can combine this into a single fraction with a denominator of m plus 4, m plus 5, and m plus 2. And in the numerators, we can add those together. I'm going to combine like terms. So we're taking the numerator m squared minus 3m minus 10 and adding the numerator of 4m squared plus 15m minus 4. Now we can combine the numerators together to get... 5m squared plus 12m minus 14, all in the numerator, divided by m plus 4, m plus 5, and m plus 2 factors. In this example, we have x divided by x squared minus 16 minus 6 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 4. Before we find the least common denominator, we should write these in factored form. So in factored form, the first rational expression is x divided by x plus 4, x minus 4, minus 6 divided by the factored form of that denominator is x plus 4, x plus 1. So the LCD is going to have each one of these factors. We see the common factor of x plus 4. The first one has an x minus 4. And the last one has an x plus 1. So we want to make sure each factor is represented in that LCD. We can then write these as with a common denominator of x plus 4, x minus 4, and x plus 1. Now in this case, the missing factor is x plus 1. So we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by that missing factor of x plus 1. When you do that, you get and distribute, you get x squared plus x minus 
what we get when we multiply to get that common denominator of x plus 4, x minus 4, x plus 1. What's, what we are missing is the factor of x minus 4. So we can multiply the numerator and the denominator by that common factor that missing factor, and by doing that and distributing that 6, you get 6x minus 24. Now this is a subtracting two, two rational expressions, so you want to distribute that negative. So you're subtracting 6x but adding 24. So our common denominator of x plus 4, x minus 4, and x plus 1 goes in the denominator and in the numerator. We, we're going to combine those numerators to get x squared plus x minus 6x plus 24. And then our last step is to just combine like terms in the numerator to get x squared minus 5x plus 24 all over x plus 4x minus 4 and x plus 1.